Hello, Year One. Today, we are going to create a soundscape for the sunshine and the rain. So by that, I mean that we're going to think about the sorts of sounds that we hear when it's raining and the sorts of sounds that we hear when it's sunny or the sorts of sounds we think about or imagine sunshine might sound like because of course the sun doesn't make a sound. So for example, when it's raining, it's clear, isn't it? We can hear it. So I've got a few objects at home that might make the sound of rain. These are my instruments from my home. So this here is a rain stick. So if I move it gently from side to side, it sounds like rain, quite soft rain. Now, if I move it more quickly, it sounds like rain pouring down. So quite heavy rain. That's a rain stick. So that's something that could be used in a soundscape when we're trying to create the sound or the feeling of rain. Now, an instrument that we have at school is a drum. So if we tap the drum very carefully, it can sound like the pitter patter of rain. Now, if you're at home and you don't have any instruments, there are everyday objects around the house that could make the sound of rain. So I thought about tin foil. If I scrunch it up really carefully, it might sound like rain. Let's have a go. Now to me, that sounded like rain coming down on a tin roof, for example. So we've, you might have tin foil at home that you could use. Something else at home that you could use is some rice in a cup and a bowl. So if you carefully pour the rice into the bowl, that might sound like rain as well. Let's have a go. we have it. So that was some sounds that we could create for the rain. You might have some other ideas or some other things lying around in your house that you think also make you think about or sound like rain. Now sunshine, sunshine doesn't make a sound. However, when I think about the sun, I think about the birds that come out and sing. I also, for me, when I close my eyes and I'm in the sunshine, it makes me feel warm and quite quiet and calm. And I think about the shimmering light, so that makes me think about shimmering sounds. Also, for me, I think of quite quiet sounds and quite high sounds and sort of shimmery, twinkly sounds. Maybe for you, you feel differently and that's okay so you might find some other sounds so thinking about that uh, at home I've got some bells so to me that reminds me of the birds singing and the trees if I move them gently So have a triangle. By the way, I think there are some bells at school. There's definitely triangles at school. And some shimmering sounds, high pitch. When I hear that, I think about the sun light coming through the leaves, the trees.
And if you're at home and you've thought long and hard about the sorts of stands that I could use with everyday objects, then I came up with this. I've got a glass here. And oh, I have also got a stick somewhere. a wooden stick you can use a spoon or a chopstick anything but if you tap it Again, you might have something else that you think sounds more like sunshine or something else that you can add to those sounds as well. Now, I wrote a piece of music for you to have a listen to. And it's all about the sunshine and the rain. When we listen to this piece of music, I want you to see if you can hear the raindrops at the beginning. I wonder if you can hear the birds and have a think about what instrument you, you think might be making the sound of the rain. I'm also going to play some of my sounds whilst the music is happening to create more sounds of rain and sunshine. And if you're at home, maybe you can also do the same thing. So get the instruments that you think sound like rain and join in when we're singing about the rain and find your instrument and play the instrument that sounds like sunshine or feels like sunshine when I'm singing about the sunshine. enjoyed listening to that year one and maybe joined in with some of the sounds with the objects from your home or instruments that you may have and I hope it also gave you an idea of how you can create sound effects. See you next time. Bye bye!